What's going on, family? Been a minute, but we still in it, and I'm gonna show y'all the most fun track day I've had this year. Now, we are at PTC riding with the homies with the Vob GT in their intermediate group, or E2. And right off the rip, something terrible happens. My damn ND filter pops off, rendering my footage useless. But wait, there's more. We got the whole squad with cameras, you know what I'm saying? There goes me, it's your boy. We got Shoot the Kill Will, Freak Nasty Fred, and my man, last but not least, Ben getting money. Now, Ben over here is on the RC390, so he's at a disadvantage because he don't got as much power as us. Will's on the SV650, and Fred and I are both on CBR600 double R's. Now, intermediate groups are interesting because the skill level variation is just so broad. Sometimes you'll be in the intermediate group, and the intermediate group overall is fast. Sometimes it's slow, sometimes it's a great range. And we all felt like this was a pretty slow day for intermediate. Not saying that we fast or anything, but you'll see some of the times we were putting in compared to when we got caught up in traffic. So Will again, he's on that SV650, he ain't got that much pace. Craig was in the back on that 600 blown by Ben. And we all go around this guy now. I ain't gonna lie, we kinda all broke the rules there. You ain't supposed to pass after the cones. I'm, I'm telling on this a little bit, but that's all right. Even Ben came through, and Ben hangs out with us for a little bit. And this was the only fully clean lap we got all session, and I skipped to the end of it because these laps are pretty long. And at the end of this rap, you can see we ran a 202. Excuse me, end of the lap we ran a 202. Cutting up into a little bit more corners. You see, we all trying to follow Will. Well, not all of us. Ben, unfortunately, got left behind because that 390 just don't got enough power. Will showing us how to make it do what it do until we got a little bit of traffic. I keep calling it traffic even though it's one or two people. But yeah, we get held up a little bit by a BMW. It's unfortunate for Will, man. He's so fast, that boy already raced it. And look, intermediate with Evolve, you can't pass on the inside. So on a track like PTC, it's hard to make a pass stick. So he passes on the outside, but he can't make it stick because he don't got enough power. With STT, you can pass on the inside as long as you're giving six feet. With Evolve GT, they don't want any inside passing, which makes it kind of challenging. All right, we're on that front straight, and Fred decides it's my turn to lead now, and we were stuck behind that BMW, and you see we run a 2079, almost a 208, so yes, yeah, much slower behind other people than what we were previously doing. Now, can Fred get past this BMW? We shall see. Now, of us three up here, Will is definitely the fastest, even on his lower displacement bike, and then Fred is faster than I, and I'm the slowest. Now, if Ben was still with us, Ben is probably as fast as Will, but his bike is just not as fast. Fred came more prepared than I. He's got that rear facing 360 camera doing it real big. And watch, the BMW finally gets a buy. So here we are, we're hung up. We never got the opportunity to pass the BMW is gone. And here we are just all, you know, chilling. Sometimes I appreciate getting behind slower people because PTZ is a very demanding track. So when you get stuck behind somebody, you get a, a few moments and a few corners to recharge your batteries because this it's a lot of work. Will says, you know what, I'm gonna go ahead and make a move and make it do what it do. They both pass, I don't pass them until I'm on the straight itself. And you see, after Fred led, we ran a 212 because we were stuck for quite some time. We ran another lap, a pretty clean lap. We only passed one person, I believe. I decide I'm gonna lead now. And after this lap that I didn't show, we ran 203, looking good. Now it's my turn to lead, but as you can already see, there's somebody up there in the distance. We run into them. Nothing crazy, we just get stuck for, for one of the earlier sections of the track. I pass when I can. Luckily, I got enough power. Get a good exit and just sail on by. 
Now, Will is real great on the brakes, so that's where he gets his pass done. Fred's got great corner speed, so that's where, he, where he's going to get his pass done. Just make it a time. Excuse me. Set that up right. Get a good exit. Head on up the hill. I'm gone. No, wait. No, I'm not. Never mind. So Will and I were able to take off. You see it's pulling off in the distance. Fred barely gets to get by him on the last corner. And we're already gone. We run a 205. And I want to show you how much better Will is than I. You see how much of a lead I had. Look at him just, just destroying that lead. Just chewing it up. Watching myself in his camera. I can see, man. I just turned so slow. Just... Laying it down into corners. You know, I ain't really throwing that thing in the corners like I could be. But just lay it down gently. Let's just lay it down gently the other way. The wheel's already there. Like, come on, let's go. Wheel makes a little error. I gain a little bit more of a gap. And with that gap gain from his error, I look back like, okay, I'm doing I'm doing alright. I'm doing alright staying ahead of Will unbeknownst to me he made a mistake but it doesn't even matter because he catches right back up poor fred fred is still in the back if we had maybe another lap fred could have caught back up because he's faster than i so if i had continued to lead he probably could have caught both will and i but if will got in front of me i think will would have taken off but unfortunately we ain't got no more time and we got to go Checkered flag is out, and that is it for this session. We got a couple more sessions I want to show y'all because we was having fun that day. Y'all stay blessed. Don't be too stressed. And she out. Peace.